Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be checking out Bomb. I'm not, I don't know, I think like B-O-M-B-E, -B right? It's like a, it's French for bomb, I think. Um, and my French pronunciation is bad. I just assume it's pronounced bomb. Uh, maybe it's bomb. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, this, I was given a review copy of this game by the developer. Uh, I usually don't take review copies, not that a lot of people have offered. Um, just because I want to be unbiased, but um, I was going to be playing this one anyway, I think. I've played several of the developers' previous games. I enjoyed them. Uh, they're like, you know, engineering slash puzzle games. I guess the two that I played were engineering games. I'm not 100% clear on what this one is going to be. I only glanced at the Steam store page and someone told me it's some kind of like... Obviously you can see it's Minesweeper-y, but... It's somehow not just playing Minesweeper, it's like teaching a computer to play Minesweeper in some way. I don't really understand what that means. But that's what we're going to be finding out. So, let's give it a shot. Uh, it came out just like a week ago, or less, I think. Um, so anyway, so we're, we're being told basic rules. Uh, and it looks like these are all just obvious Minesweeper things, but in different geometries. This is some new thing about... Well, wait, is this a new thing? No, this is just... Once you've put a bomb... Once you've marked a bomb next to a three, it reminds you, oh, there's two left in this region, so you don't have to mark it yourself? That's nice. Okay. Next page? I don't know if I should hit okay or next page. I concur, yes. Tell me more? Next page? I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> Regions can be used by rules. Mark as all bombs. Reach. Okay, what the fuck? Once you click OK, the rule will be applied automatically. Region type. So in a region of type 3 with size 3, you should mark a bomb. So that's a rule I could define. Region with 3 bombs and 3 cells, OK. And this, I could say other, okay, I could alternatively say mark it as not bombs. Yeah, got it. Still another difference between okay and next page. I don't want to hit okay, because I think it might be skip tutorial. I'm going to hit next page. Double click on a region. Okay, I'm not allowed to do that right now. These are all just pictures. I'm not, it's not a hand, it's not a tactile demo. Enter number of cells. Action to perform. So I guess this is, you're clicking on a region type to create a new rule for that region type. You say cells and action, okay. Notice cells can be set to don't care. Yeah, makes sense. Multiple regions up to four, ah, to handle overlaps, okay. Rules can be used to create new regions. Okay, yes, this, this all sounds like how I play Minesweeper in my head, but turning it into a little mini program, okay. Six, two or more, five or fewer, not four, four or six, three, five or seven. <laughs> One plus any multiple of two, okay, got it. I don't understand what the fuck this means. Normal visible, is this like, what? I don't know. Some sort of tagging system for rules. Rules can be used to change visibility of regions, so I can mark a region as not being visible, being hidden. I, I don't know what, why would I do that? What does it mean? Okay. Solve levels to unlock level sets and features. Bridge, okay, so we can choose which geometry to play on. Numbers show unsolved levels. So this is an area, this, this is like a group of levels that there are two levels left in like a level set, I guess. Double click to test all levels. Oh, cute. To see if any of the new rules I've added would make me fail levels I previously passed. Or just, I'm not sure. Bigger grids, more complex. Okay. I click okay. Whoa. Okay. This is a, uh, okay. There's a lot of, uh, it's kind of a UI soup here. Got it. What is happening? So, Uh-huh. 
If I go to help, does it take me back to the same place? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I assume these are locks. Like, complete 2,000 levels to unlock something? Some feature, I'm guessing? Okay, anyway, so what... What? Okay, so these are marked as bombs already at the start. What is this? Copy level? No. Speed? Okay, I guess to see how I can... Once I have some rules, I can tell the computer to work on it, and I'll see how fast that goes. Okay, well, I have a rule for regions of Psy... of... labeled with zero of... of any size? How do I do that? You told me I could do that. This is the region inspector. Add to rule constructor? So I can click here to say either stick with two, the size I'm currently working at, or mark it as don't care. And the action would be to mark it as all clear. I could mark them all as bombs, but that would be incorrect. I will confirm this rule. This one should have gone as well, should it not? No, I left the rule as size two. Hang on. Edit rule. I thought I put it back to don't care. Update rule. It did that as well. Okay. Uh, so a region of size, of type 2 with size 2 should all be bombs. I think, wait, why is this? Oh, I see. This 4 has 2 left. Got it. Uh, so. Oh, I had to click in here and also here somehow? Okay, I don't understand exactly yet. Region of size one of type one. Let's make that a rule. That's all bombs. Click here. It's all bombs. We've completed that level. Okay, and I think we just, we completed like one of each of these levels as well because it was just things like that. All right, what else can we do? Well, here's a four with four things. Yes, add this to the rule constructor. They're all bombs, yes. Hey! It solved itself! Okay, cool. Alright, can we speed this up? Show me when something interesting happens, please. What, what rules do we have, by the way? I've sort of lost track. Can I look at them? No. Well, this rule's already here. I'm gonna hit cancel. Aha! Rules. So I, the rules have numbers. Zero, one, two, three. Oh, priority? When would I ever need that? Interesting. Okay. Action, region. So... Can I, like, change their ID somehow? Like, I can. Okay, this just sorts them nicely. And so we can see, like, what they've done. Look at that, we solved eight levels in each of these regions. Okay. Oh, it even... I don't know what scores eight means, but... Okay, and this inspects each rule. Got it. Um, so we have... We have just the basic candlers for 0, 1, 2, and 4. For some reason, we haven't run into a 3 before. I guess that's what we're going to see now. Yeah, look at that. Uh, construct a rule. It shall be bombs. Okay, yes, 5s I expect to be similar. So this is just some boring stuff. It was cool. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's useful that it's there. I wouldn't say it's boring, necessarily. But now that we, like, know how to make this basic rule... Nothing very interesting is happening. But now, finally, something interesting is happening where we have to understand how to write overlaps, which I do not yet. <clears throat> um, okay, so show me again in the help how I was supposed to do that. What did it look like when that happened? Multiple regions can be added to the... Alright, so I'll just say... 
this region and this region. No. Okay, add to rule constructor, and then also add this to rule constructor. Got it. So now when there's a... Oof. Okay, um... What am I doing here? I guess I'm saying when a five, no. When there's five mines in a region of six that overlaps at a size of two with a region of one, seems very specific, but okay. Then we need to mark some mine, how many mines are left in the remaining regions. So what I should do then is mark, now so the point is, you can only fit four mines outside of the overlap, so all of the ones left over here must be bombs. And all of the ones left over here must be clear. And I don't know, can I do something to this region? Okay, all I can really do is mark its... Um... Hang on, I can be more specific, or more general. I don't care how many ones are over here, as long as there's some overlap with this region of one. All the ones, yeah. So if fives overlap with ones in Hex World, which I guess is where we are right now. Are we gonna have different rule sets in the different world areas or geometries? Um, okay. But anyway, in this geometry, it is the case that if a 5 overlaps... Well, right, I do care the size of the overlap, don't I? No, hang on. I'm confused. Um... I could be... I could, I could just... I could just write this rule, say that's, that's bombs, oops, and this is clear. Can I not take both actions? What? Okay. I would rather just take both actions, but fine. I guess I'm not allowed? Um... So it's not the case that any time a 5 overlaps with a 1, right? Because if they had an overlap of size 1, that wouldn't really tell us anything. But as long as the overlap is size 2, than the rest of the, right? Like, I feel like I could put a single question mark in any of these three rules and the rest would all fall out, would it not? And I don't know whether, it, how much it matters which one I choose. Again, obviously any one of these will solve the current situation, but I'm trying to like probe my understanding of both the rules and Minesweeper and geometry to see what is the right way to define this rule. And I know I could just write this and go back and edit it later. Can I... Can't I put a question mark here as well? If there's a space... No. Well, in... In Hex World, I guess it would work. Because even if this overlap is only size 1... If there's only 4 places to put... Oh no, what if this overlap were somehow size 3? It's impossible in Hex World, but like it could in theory be true. So let's just put that there. Just have one question mark and say that's our rule. Um, and then we get another overlap rule like this, which is where we say these two, if there's a one, oh wait a minute. 
Yes. So there's... They overlap in two spaces. So this is going to stay as a one. There's no, no space where we see only these. So we're not going to do anything there. But where we see only this, we must be marking as non-bombs. Because we know there's a mine in one of these two, therefore none here. So, sure. I hope it, like, accelerates while it's applying solutions you already know about. Or do I really have to do this by hand? I don't know. Oh, maybe it just... Why is this one shaking? What the fuck? Is that a hint? Or just some weird, like, artistic choice? I don't know. Okay, these regions are a little bit... It's a little hard to read them. Um... Yeah, so we have an overlap between these two regions. So, actually, could I just have gone... Show me the rule editor. I forgot where the, the damn thing is. Cancel. I found it a minute ago. Rules. So this rule was too specific. What I should have said is anytime a region of size one, uh, how do I edit rule? Whoa, what the hell? Okay, I don't need to do that. Um, if there's ever a zero and two ones of another size overlap, then like the, the zero means there's no place no, I guess I shouldn't say question mark, because that counts zero as well, right? If they have a non-zero... No. Uh... I don't understand. I have trouble understanding what these three rows represent. So I have two regions of size one. No. Two regions with one mine each. And an overlap of them. If one region completely subsumes the other is what I want to describe, right? Then the overlap must be the area they share and that must be where the mine is. So no matter how big the non-overlapping region is, it should be marked clear. So this is the region, the larger region that the part of the larger region that is not also part of the overlap. And there should be no mines there. So how do I... What do you mean impossible? Fuck you. What? <laughs> Why? Oh, did I... I somehow marked this as zero, which... Yeah, that's... I agree, that was incorrect. So yeah, if they have any overlap... But I guess what I want to say is, like... Does it make sense to, like... Is it going to construct these? What if these are both zero? Am I, am I gonna, like, be stuck in some loop? Let's update the rule. Leave the rule, Inspector. So that did something. It, it correctly handled this here. Now we have this thing of a 1 overlapping with a 2, so that's fine. Uh, no longer inspecting that rule. So put this in the, region, the rule, Inspector, and this in the rule, Inspector, as well. Or rule constructor. So... A 1 and a 2. Obviously, I could just say mark this as not a mine. Because there must be at least one mine here. I think I can be more general and say no matter how many are over here, do that, right? Like if this space were also available to have a mine in it, it still couldn't have one. I think that's true. And I also don't care... No, I do care how... Well, no. Yeah, if this were available to be a mine, none of what I'm saying would be true. So I think I want both of these to be specific. This to be specific. Does this have to be? If they somehow had an overlap that was... Yeah, I don't know. 
I guess I hit check mark. I'll figure out if there's a more general version of that some other time. Okay, so what's going on here is we have a three overlapping with ones, right? That's fine. When... There's only space for two mines that don't touch the one. Then... Kind of no matter what the size of their overlap is, everything here must be non mod. Wait. Then their overlap. Oh, if their overlap were size zero, I don't think that would be correct. I have to say. Can I say one plus somehow? Uh, well, I mean, I, I guess it doesn't matter, right? Because if there's an overlap, there's only two places to put the mine where there isn't an overlap. If the overlap were size zero, there would be no room for the mines at all. So this seems fine. So no matter how big the lap overlap is, and no matter how big the one section is, there are no mines in the one. Wait, something's wrong here, isn't it? I successfully found that there was no mine here, but I still have to narrow this down, right? I need another rule, duplicate. Well, yeah, maybe actually I should just cancel. Go back to the rule editor. Maybe what I did here was not the most efficient thing. Would it have made more sense to put mines into the, this area? It would have, right? Let's edit this rule. And say instead the action is to mark these as bombs. And then the, the one overlapping another one rule will just take over and I won't have to do anything else. So let's, let's update that rule. There we go, that's better. What am I to do here? There's this two overlapping with a larger two, putting at least one mine in this area. But so what? Well, I guess now I can say... This is my first time I have to create a new region, is it not? because I can't actually mark a specific mine in one step here. Instead, what I have to do is say, ah, this two combined with this one tells me there's one mine in these three. So put this in the rule constructor and put this in the rule constructor. Now, am I wrong? I don't see a way to make a new region. Is it some like unlocked feature after I've done 2,000 levels? Oh, wait, maybe... Oh, you know what? This probably is an action. Let's go... I mean, I could just try it, but let's confirm with the help system that that's what it's supposed to look like. Rules can be used to create new regions. Okay, but how? <laughs> uh, all right, whatever. So if I said... When these overlap, then... Put one mine there, yes. That'll make a new region. So what happens when I do this? 
That does solve. Okay, good. I like this so far. Um, I feel like a lot of Minesweeper is fairly simple application of... Well, not simple necessarily. An application of a fairly small number of rules. Some of these... I feel like I, I, I don't currently have the like experience yet to generalize these rules properly. But, um, like, some of these rules are general cases. Like, I want a, a variable, right? I, I bet Charlie has given me a variable somehow, or will in the future give me one. But, like, these, these, these are, these rules are all the same, right? If there's, you know, zero mines in a region, empty it. If the number of spaces in a region is equal to the number of mines in the region, then they're all mines, right? Um, and I'm sure there's going to be a version... The, the 1-4 rule that I'm about to write is an awful lot like the 1-3 rule here, probably. Uh, so there must be... I, I, you know, I don't personally, in my brain... Well, maybe I do. I was going to say I don't really have a separate version of the 1-4 rule and the 1-3 rule. I have, like, can you cram enough mines outside of the region? Like, I have, you know, is the non-overlap... The, the, like, proto-rule in my brain is, like, is the part of the larger region that doesn't overlap with the smaller region large enough to fit all of the mines? If not, then the leftover mines must be put into the overlap. That's, like the rule that I'm working with, but I don't know how to write that yet. Whether that's something I'll ever be allowed to write, or whether I have to write all these separate special cases separately, I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, so we want to put this in the constructor and this in the constructor. And we say when a four has only three spaces for the overlap, and again, we can just put... What? No. Question. I see. I see. So since I had a one in my hand from before, I, it was changing. Ah, so I, okay, I can toggle these, but I can also just like write whatever number I want in here. Okay. And if I, if I toggle it from don't care to back, it goes back to the actual regions I'm working with. But I could write a, write a rule without looking at the regions for it in principle, right? by just putting whatever numbers I want in each of these. I don't know, can I? I can even put one there, how nice. Okay, but I, I don't want to. Um, give me back my four, please. Um, so, when there are four mines, no, yes, four mines to squeeze into a region of three, then, oh, actually, No, I do. I was thinking, wait a minute, do I care that this is a one? Could I make it like a, an anything? And the answer is no. The reason that we care, that we know we can, that we have to put all three mines here is because we can only, only fit one of them here. So I, I don't care about the size of the overlap, but I do care that there's only space for three mines outside. So yes, do that rule. So let's go faster. And I guess, I'm not sure. Does, does that mean we've, we haven't finished this region yet. There's a new role we could use. We could go to a larger grid size, which why would that matter? Or more complex, mm. okay. 
Well, let's, let's keep working in here for now, because if there's still rules I can write that apply to simple, small boards, that seems nice. And then when I run out of levels here, which I assume will happen eventually, I can uh, go to more complicated zones. So what's happening here? Why is this difficult? Ah, because there's a three that has two different regions, each of size one. So that goes in, that goes in, and also this has to go in. Oh no, Venn diagrams. Uh... Okay, so what the hell does this mean? You know what? This is actually a good time to take a break. We just solved the first hundred levels, I think is what happened. And we'll get back to the, the Venn diagram uh, salad in a minute. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.